2,4-D is one of the oldest herbicides on the market. It's been applied to millions of acres over multiple decades. You've probably recommended or applied 2,4-D many times, but do you know the specifics of each formulation and what gives them their characteristics? Today, we'll take an in-depth look at the active ingredient, 2,4-D, and its action within a plant. We'll then examine the specific formulations of 2,4-D ester and amine and discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each. We'll also use a combination of lab studies and time-lapse photography to show how Loveland's unique brands of 2,4-D can provide growers increased performance from one of the most effective herbicides on the market. To begin, let's discuss some characteristics of 2,4-D and how it's able to deliver excellent control on even the toughest broadleaf weeds. 2,4-D is a member of the Phenoxy herbicide family and the Growth Regulator Mode of Action Group. It was first registered in the United States in 1945 and has become a staple in chemical programs for various crops. An application of 2,4-D floods a plant with synthetic hormones, creating dysfunction in essential plant growth processes. This chaos causes rapid cell growth in a short period of time, which the plant can't naturally support. This essentially grows the plant to death and leads to weed control typically in one to four weeks. Twisting, curvature, and uneven growth are some of the most visible symptoms of 2,4-D treatment on broadleaf weeds. 2,4-D acid in its raw form is a dry material, almost insoluble in water. If you tried to mix the raw acid into a spray tank, it would sink straight to the bottom. Because of this, formulation chemists have developed methods to solubilize the acid and keep it in a stable solution. These methods are what produce the amine and ester forms of 2,4-D we use today. So what's the difference between an ester and an amine? And which 2,4-D should I use? To answer these questions, let's first look at how esters and amines are produced and talk about the benefits and limitations associated with each. 2,4-D esters are a product of a chemical reaction between the 2,4-D acid and an alcohol. This reaction occurs under extreme heat and forms a chemical bond that results in an ester. A 2,4-D ester in its raw form is a thick oil that is water insoluble. In order to convert the ester into a soluble state, solvents and emulsifiers are added. The solvents help to dilute the oil to a lower viscosity, while the emulsifier helps to disperse the ester throughout the spray tank solution. 2,4-D amines are produced when the 2,4-D acid is reacted with the dimethylamine base to form an amine salt. Because this form of 2,4-D is easily mixed with water, no solvents or emulsifiers are needed. Although amines and esters are both 2,4-D herbicides, they have distinct differences that make them more or less favorable for certain environments and cultural practices. One of the biggest differences between the two is that esters have a higher vapor pressure and volatize more than amines. This volatility can increase significantly in high temperature, high wind conditions. During this kind of weather, amines are the better choice for any 2,4-D application, particularly around specialty crops where drift and volatility are always a concern. Another key difference to consider is that esters provide slightly quicker weed control over amines. Esters are more active on weeds because they are easily absorbed by the plant's leaf. This increased activity makes esters the better choice when more aggressive weed control is needed. Tank mix partners are also a factor when choosing between an ester or amine. If UAN fertilizer is being used as the carrier, then a 2,4-D ester is the best choice for the application, as they generally mix easier with UAN. With both formulations having their inherent strengths and weaknesses, Loveland Products has developed a line of performance-driven 2,4-Ds that address the issues of both amines and esters, while enhancing the benefits that each have to offer. Sabre is our leading 2,4-D amine with a glycol base. The glycol in Sabre provides a humectant, which is used to preserve the moisture of the spray droplets. This unique formulation enables Sabre to spread on the leaf surface more than conventional amines, and also remain in a fluid form longer, allowing for greater uptake into the plant system. To illustrate this, we compared an application of Sabre to a standard amine, and then measured the amount of 2,4-D recovered from the foliage. The results showed that Sabre was able to provide 14 times more absorption over the standard amine. One of the biggest concerns when applying an amine formulation is the risk of crystallization on the leaf. 
especially during hot and windy conditions. As a drop of amine dries on the surface of the plant, the water evaporates and the amine salt turns to crystal. In this form, the uptake into the plant can be significantly reduced. Saver is able to overcome this weakness because of glycol in the formulation. To show how this works, we put together the following time lapse. In this comparison, we treated the left leaf with a standard amine and the right leaf with Saber. We then filmed the droplets over a four hour period. As you can see, the droplet of amine begins to crystallize on the leaf surface leading to reduced uptake, while the Saber droplet continues to hold moisture. With an application of Saber, you can be confident in spraying any time of the day, even in hot and windy conditions where other amines struggle. Another performance-driven product that has provided growers with excellent weed control for decades is Salvo, our superior 2,4-D ester. Armed with an outstanding emulsifier package, Salvo is able to outperform standard ester formulations by providing better distribution of the active ingredient in the spray tank and on the leaf surface. To understand the importance of an emulsifier, we have to think of an individual spray droplet as a micro-sized version of the sprayer tank. If the emulsifier doesn't allow the active ingredient to be evenly distributed, then the droplets being sprayed will have inconsistent concentrations, leading to reduced weed control. To show its superior emulsion, we compared Salvo to a standard 2,4-D ester and filmed the solutions overnight we can see that Salvo provides a greater emulsion right from the beginning, which allows the 2,4-D active to be evenly dispersed. It maintains this emulsion throughout the entire video, whereas the LV4 begins to settle out less than halfway through. Now that you've seen how Salvo provides a more uniform, reliable solution, let's talk about the science behind this unique formulation from Loveland Products. What makes emulsifiers work is a cluster of molecules called micelles. One half of a micelle is oil-soluble, while the other half is water-soluble. This unique structure makes micelles the perfect bridge to help 2,4-D esters, which are oils, stay in solution with water. In this diagram, we see how the micelles are able to surround an oil droplet of 2,4-D and bring it into solution with water. What helps Salvo outperform other 2,4-D esters is the size of the micelle particles we create from the emulsion. Smaller micelles allow for smaller 2,4-D oil particles, which can be packed into each droplet of spray solution without affecting droplet size. In this chart, we took a sample of Salvo, LV4, and LV6 and measured the average micelle particle size of each. We then measured how many particles were in each spray droplet. As you can see, Salvo provides nearly five times the amount of 2,4-D particles per drop. This allows Salvo to get more herbicide into the plant, which leads to increased control. With its superior compatibility and small particle size, Salvo is the best choice for any 2,4-D ester application. By now, you understand the risks and benefits with most 2,4-D ester products. They provide quicker weed control, but with a higher concern of volatility and odor. Loveland recognized a gap in the grower's toolbox. In sensitive regions around public buildings and residential areas, they needed a low odor 2,4-D with the quick control of an ester. We developed Whiteout specifically for this application need. Whiteout is Loveland's solventless 2,4-D ester. Without solvents in the formulation, we're able to significantly reduce the odor profile and volatility. To prove how Whiteout offers a less volatile formulation over a standard LV4 ester, we used a lab instrument that measures the weight of a droplet over a three hour period in high temperatures. In this diagram, we see that a droplet of standard ester begins to volatize immediately, while the droplet of Whiteout takes nearly 50 minutes before we see any loss. As expected, the amine droplet showed the lowest volatility. Whiteout doesn't offer the lowest volatility like Saber or the smaller particle size like Salvo, but it's perfect for those sensitive situations where low odor and standard ester strength is needed. We've covered a lot. We talked about how esters and amines are formulated and how those methods give them specific features. 
We then looked at how those features can be beneficial or detrimental, depending on the circumstances of the application. During high temperature, windy conditions, amines are preferred because of their lower volatility. However, when an amine is sprayed during these conditions, there is always potential for the droplet to lose moisture and salt out on the leaf surface, leading to reduced uptake. This makes Sabre the best choice when an amine is needed. Because of its glycol base, a droplet of Sabre can retain moisture and stay in a usable form longer than standard amine, which ensures plant uptake and reliable weed control. When volatility is not the top concern or a tank mix with UAN fertilizer is needed, ester forms of 2,4-D are recommended for their quicker uptake and compatibility. But because esters are oil-based, it's crucial that they have a quality emulsifier to help them form a reliable solution. This is why Salvo is the top choice when an ester is needed. With its superior emulsion, Salvo can provide better distribution of the active ingredient in the tank and on the leaf surface, giving growers a more reliable solution and increased weed control over standard ester. And finally, for those applications around public buildings or residential areas where low odor and standard ester strength is needed, Whiteout gives growers an excellent tool. For more information on these 2,4-D products and more, visit our website at lovelandproducts.com. Let's get growing.